Right, so I think this is all a church. There's all a manor next door. All I've got to do is try and find which path I take, which might be down, might be down there. I'll have a look on the map in a minute. But I, I only just spotted this church by a gravestone that stuck out. So this is all a church. This is Lorna Dune country. Hopefully it might be open. Might be. Look at those hills behind. So this is Lorna Dune. I don't know if that's no, that's or farm. Uh, Lorna Dune farm is further down, I believe. So this is the gateway that they would have come through for the wedding, which was two rival families on Exmoor. And there was a, sh a shotgun wedding. Yeah, Frank Ridd. Frank Ridd. Oh, church. St. Mary's Church, or. In 2012, a hawthorn tree was planted to celebrate the jubilee of Queen Elizabeth II. I'll take pictures of all this in a minute. So this is the steps. This is the view. Please keep the door closed at all times to stop birds getting in. Oh yeah. Oh, it smells musky. Someone will come now because that's a St. Mary the Virgin. Visitors are invited to enter the church quietly and join in the service or wait outside the gate until the close of worship. I'll, I'll have some leaflets in a minute and put some money in the box. Yeah, I'll take some on the way out. There's the organ. That looks like a good old door, doesn't it? And there. Richard Doddridge Blackmore, MA. Yeah, he's the author of uh, Lorna Dune. Born the 7th of June, 1825. Died the 20th of January, 1900. I thought it was Blackmore. I can tell that bloke now. Insight in humour and the rhythmic role of antique law, his fertile fancy swayed, and with their various eloquence arrayed, his sterling English pure and clean and whole. He added Christian courtesy and the humility of all thoughtful mindful minds to a certain grand and glorious gift of radiating humanity by Craddock Noel. So that's a picture of Richard Dodderidge, who wrote the book Lorna Dune. And he probably researched a lot about it. So this, don't forget, this has been dramatised and probably filmed the story of Lorna Dune. Look at these lovely old, in memory of Nicholas Snow, Lord of the Manor of Orr. An upright man, greatly skilled in woodcraft, who served his generation for many years as Justice of the Peace, Master of Hands, and Church Warden of this parish. So, 1827 to 1914. That's another old one. Look at this one. Here lieth the body of Peter Spur, who departed this life November the 21st, 1749, in the 68th year of his age. That's another old one, isn't it? An old memorial. Dorcas Spurry. In memory of Nicholas, is that another Nicholas Snow? Who died 63 yeah, in 1791. It's funny, I used to know some Snow people um, when I was a kid in Bridgewater. So what you've got to remember is that this is the very church where Lorna Dune and the Rid bloke, 
or somebody. I, I, I've got the book. I can't remember it all. Thou shalt not still, thou shalt not bear fault witness against thy neighbour. Yeah. Reserved for your private players. Please replace the cord. Thank you. I will. It might have set off a bleep then when I went through. Look. It's a nice simple um, ultra cloth, isn't it? So William Reginald Halliday, MA, Bachelor of Lit um, of Glenthorne. I don't know who these people are, the Hallidays. Yeah, so just imagine they walked up here. My sister Judith walked up here as well. Very basic, very plain. There's some carved figures in the beam up there. Yeah, it's, um, and of course the box pews for people. Right, I'm going to take some photos now. Right. Right now. now. Look at the view though, everyone. There's the road up the top there, look. So yeah, I can see a camper van. Beautiful, isn't it? It's like, I know I've got to get up there at some point. I'm just having a look at this, just, just a little scan. I'll come back and take some more photos in a minute. Apparently the Ridd family are still about. The other thing is a lot of the features in the church weren't there at the time when uh, the Lorna Doom thing, Lorna Doom thing occurred. But apparently the um, I've got to look up the map in a minute because I've got to see which uh, path I've got to take. We'll worry about that in a minute. Let's just go around the church first. I keep going hot and cold, you know. I'm hot one minute, cold the next. <laughs> Another view of the church from there, look. I have him. <sighs> Lots of smiths. Little smith plot here. More at the back and some more. What's that? It's a very common name, isn't it? <laughs> My grandmother was a smith. I'm going to come back round to do the photos. I just want to try and keep the video going as one. I do like to do the graveyards because um, you literally never know who's going to turn up. It's happened to me. 
in graveyards where a relative turns up. It's very interesting. Locks, we've got some locks. More locks. Sounds familiar. Look at that though, that hill behind there. I don't know anything about the church exactly. I've got the I've made a photocopy of the leaflet. And I'll add bits of information to the video when I do it. Yeah, I can't see no rids in here though. You think if they're still about then uh Right, it's quarter to twelve, everyone. That's okay. Been gone about two hours. Bus journey took quite a while. I just wonder if I got to go up that valley. Looks interesting, doesn't it? But I'll have to have a look on the more locks and the manor house is next door or manor right over now That's the bells of St Mary's, Lord of Dune. Or, 